cooperative, even the students who come here. I can say the ref of this hospital for now. It's like the way I'll go to Akakan because the, 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 the attendance, the way they are taking care of us, it's quite good. Every citizen in Kenya should have that scheme, the NHIF scheme, because it is really helping people. You can imagine without NHIF, how much would I have paid really? How much can I pay in a given time? How many people can afford? I'm Kayole. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go The last few years since devolution have witnessed profound changes in the healthcare landscape within Kiambu County. This is evidenced in the progress the county is making towards increasing accessibility, improving quality, and enhancing affordable healthcare services to all its residents. The population of Kiambu County is 1.9 million. It's divided into 12 sub-counties with 60 wards. In Kiabu County, we have 107 health facilities and the 108th is a beyond zero mobile clinic. We have three level five hospitals in Kiabu County. We have 11 level four hospitals in the county, 25 health centers, 70 dispensaries, and 120 community health units. Kiambu County Health Services serves more than 10,000 outpatients and 2,000 inpatients on a daily basis with a staff of more than 2,700. I'm born here in Kiambu, so I used to come to this hospital even before devolution. And from the time of devolution, the last five years, there is a lot of improvement in, in, in health services in Kiambu and we are hoping it will continue to another level. Kiambu County is committed to universal health coverage that everyone should have access to health services they need without risk of financial ruin or impoverishment. Universal health coverage uh, is one of the four agendas of the president and as a department we are very glad to be associated with that agenda because we believe it is a way it is the ultimate towards achieving proper, affordable, quality, accessible health to our people without having to use money from their pocket. And indeed, we are working towards that together with our partners, NHIF and AMREF and Beyond Zero. And our governor is in the front, of course, our president is in the front. And we believe if we were to increase the coverage for the number of people who have you know, NHIF cover, then that will go a long way in achieving the UHC. We register clients who come, maybe they don't have a card, or maybe um, they're defaulters. Defaulters meaning they used to have a card, Kitambo, and then all of a sudden um, they, they, they stopped paying. So they can activate their, their cards by paying 1500 and a photocopy of their ID. For the registration, we normally um, register them by um, a photocopy of their ID, 1500 on their phones, and a passport size photo. The demo member in HIF, who is a member of the HIF, Na ni nyona ta ino te dio mune ne kori gana na doka koko ole ni kafe te expensi si ria shio de dira dira hodei dide. As a county, we have set aside in the our budget 12 million shillings. That will be to cater for the people who are vulnerable. Not everyone in Kiambu will afford the NHIF. Remember, it is 6,000 shillings per annum. 
or 500 shillings per month. We will work together with the MCAs. We already have a guideline which is quite strict on how to identify the people who are vulnerable. So the big burden is in the informal sector, but we have uh, already uh, come up with a raft of strategies. One of them, and it's already before the county assembly, is of ensuring that we compel our people to take insurance and also make it an, a requirement that before you pay land rates, for instance, you'd have an NHIF cover, or before you pay water, you have an NHIF cover. Remember, it's for their good, and especially those who can afford. We are really encouraging them uh, to do the same. In addition to increased affordable health care, the health department celebrates other key achievements. Reproductive health is one of our major priorities ensuring all expectant mothers and their children are given quality services. We ensure that we have a qualified midwife. We have 16 gynecologists in our county to ensure that this specialized care, just in case the delivery would require specialized intervention. We delivered 61,000 babies in the year 2016-2017. Our maternal mortality ratio right now stands at about 50, between 50 and 60 to 100 life births. The national maternal mortality ratio is at 362. And we are now working towards ensuring that we have zero maternal, zero maternal or child mortality within our county. We were able to open a blood satellite center at a thicker level five, which is now able to provide between 800 and 1,200 units of blood. The biggest cause of maternal mortality is hemorrhage. And immediately we, we commissioned that blood satellite. We noted a drastic reduction. We are just about to uh, commission our reproductive health unit at a thicker level five uh, next month. And it will offer a state-of-the-art reproductive health services. Welcome to Kiambu Level 5. This is the pharmacy. Um, this is basically where we stock the drugs that we are dispensing to the patients after getting them from the main store. Um, as you can see, we are uh, well stocked currently. We received some drugs just some few weeks ago and uh, our patients are benefiting and we are good to go. Since devolution, 445 health workers have been recruited through the Kiambu County Public Service Board. I mean maternity, the place is quite busy compared to where I was previously, so I am learning new things. For example, like today we had uh, like 72 patients, 72 mothers, and so in a day I'm able to interact with quite a number of them. I have seen uh, a lot of benefits in the terms that I'm able to interact even with my managers closer to me. And like when we were in the national government, it was uh, quite something. Yeah, but right now uh, with the devolution coming even closer to us, we're able to view our, our issues even as the health workers closer to our managers. The training of the health staff in the county has continued to improve their skills in handling patients. We have so far sent six people to South Korea, a university called Yonsein. We sent two renal physicians to train in the King's College in the UK. We trained another renal physician uh, in uh, Cairo University. As we speak right now, we have more than 50 doctors who are in various medical schools doing their master's programs. All these are under our sponsorship in that we are the ones who are paying their salaries as they, as they continue studying in school. Uh, recently myself, I was a beneficiary of a training where we went to King's College and uh, at the Arena Observership Program for six months. And um, I can say, yes, there is the benefit of um, for me, there was the benefit of being trained so that I'm able to better care for patients who have renal issues, diabetes, hypertension, and all those things. But there was also the benefit of having an experience of a healthcare model that is functional. And then I am the in charge of this facility. <laughs> 
Kiambu County has 21 ambulances and is procuring more to improve referral services in the county. Kiambu County Health Services is renovating, rehabilitating and equipping existing health facilities and establishing new ones. In terms of uh, infrastructure, uh, we have been able to build and renovate many of our facilities. When you go to Larry sub-county, you'll find we are about to complete a 150-bed hospital. If you go to Kikuyu the water, you'll find that we are also doing a 150-bed hospital. If you go to Wangige, you'll find that we are also doing a similar project. Uh, if you go to uh, Tigoni, you'll find we are doing a similar project. We did a groundbreaking for another state-of-the-art hospital, which is equivalent to what we have just come from doing in Thika Level 5 at Gedongori. It will be able to provide a state-of-the-art services, especially in the area of oncology. When you go to Bibirioni, again in an area called Garariga, just near Lemuru, again we did a groundbreaking for a 300-bed hospital. And we believe that those infrastructure will go a long way in addressing the issue of bed capacity, ensuring that one bed, one patient, rather than the scenario which we find in some of our hospitals where more than two patients are sharing one bed. The national government has invested heavily to make access to healthcare a reality. We have a six bed ICU at, a, at Thika level five, and this is courtesy of the managed equipment services. That means our patients who require intensive care do not have to go. We also have now the dialysis which I've just mentioned. We have state of the art theater facilities, both in Thika Level 5 and in Kiambu. We have uh, centers for sterilization, for surgical equipment in both of the hospitals. Really, this has gone a long way, courtesy of the, the partnership with the national government. So we work in a very cordial manner. We always reach out to each other, and uh, so far, so good. When you think about the, the old uh, Minister of Health and the nurses, and the workers, it is very different. These people are kind. I would say that in front of them, in front of anyone, anyone else, they are kind, they talk to us nicely, and they advise us nicely. This place is clean, if you look around. And uh, the, the food, we keep asking questions, what are we supposed to do? We are advised here, but then it's difficult at home. So I like the way they feed us. The feeding program here is perfect. Except that, of course, uh, you, for you people, you would not eat. Eh? There is no salt, nothing. It's not the kind of additives we put. Eh? Uh, so here they almost force us to eat. When you have come, feed fast and then continue. The Kiambu County Health Services has continued partnering with various public and private partners to enhance service delivery, especially in the provision of specialized care. An example is University of Nairobi CRIS project that procured and installed a gene expert machine at Kiambu Level 5 Hospital that assists in the diagnosis of resistant tuberculosis cases. The test is free. It's based on uh, DNA, so it's a very good test and uh, it confirms whether you have TB or you don't have TB. And especially for patients with resistant TB, it is really beneficial. In order to deliver quality healthcare services to its people, Kiambu County Health Services Department has zoned health facilities into centers of excellence. These are hospitals which are flagships, so they are able to provide the all basic services that will be offered by any hospital, but they have a flagship which they identify themselves with. For instance, uh, the reproductive health unit in a, in a Thika Level 5 uh, ensures that Thika Level 5 is able to be a center of excellence in reproductive health. We have uh, earmarked Tigoni as a center of excellence for pediatric care. When you go to Lusigate, which is in Kikuyu sub-county, it's a level 4 hospital, again we have earmarked it as a center of uh, drug and substance abuse. Right now you appreciate that our governor is in the, front for, is in the forefront fighting alcoholism. And we know that uh, alcoholism has 
uh, an aspect of medical care and of course a psycho psychological uh, care and we have established, we have identified it as an area which can serve that purpose. Uh, when it comes to where we are in Kiambu Level 5 Hospital, this is going to be the center of uh, excellence for neurosurgical sciences. Now, in an effort to address the issue of non-communicable diseases, we have established a center of excellence for non-communicable diseases in Gatundo Level 5. So the whole idea is to optimize on the scarce resources and also to ensure that we are able to provide specialized care within our county. We do not want our people to go around, to go far looking for services either in Kenyatta National Hospital or in private hospitals. We want to give them a one-stop care. In November 2017, Kiambu and Gatondo hospitals were upgraded to level 5. The county now has three level 5 hospitals and is working to upgrade other facilities. What does this new status uh, imply? It implies that we are able to, one, attract conditional grants from the national government. Every level 5 hospital is entitled to a conditional grant, an allocation by the parliament. Now, these resources which will be injected to the hospital will ensure that the infrastructure will grow, will expand more. We'll be able to uh, ensure that we are able to increase the bed capacity. We'll be able to train more people. We'll have better diagnostic tools, better equipment. It will mean that the good people of Kiambu will not have to travel. They won't have to travel to private hospitals. They won't have to travel to Kenyatta National Hospital. As Kiambu County Health Services celebrates their milestones in achieving universal health coverage, they recognize and appreciate the support of their esteemed clientele, partners, team of dedicated healthcare givers, and the county assembly membership. In Kiambu, we want our residents to be the most healthy so that they can work with comfort, they can build the nation with comfort, and so that our county gets richer and richer. And I repeat again, a healthy county is a wealthy county.